Drone makes a chilling discovery on mountain. No one is supposed to see this. On a morning that whispered promises of adventure, Elijah, with a heart full of wanderlust and eyes set on the untamed beauty of the Appalachian Mountains, embarked with his trusted drone. The skies, a vast expanse of azure, offered the perfect canvas for his passion. He sought to capture nature in its rawest form, to hold moments of wilderness captive through the lens of technology. Today, the mountains called to him, not just as a backdrop for his aerial photography, but as a siren song luring him into the embrace of the unknown. As his drone glided over the rugged peaks and dipped through the serene valleys, a peculiar sight caught his eye. There, amidst the pristine snow, lay an anomaly that seemed out of place in the natural order. Elijah's experience with his drone had shown him many wonders, but nothing quite like this. A flutter of excitement raced through his veins, a beckoning to the mysteries that lay waiting in the silence of the snow-covered landscape. This unexpected sight ignited a fire within him, a need to uncover the secrets that lay hidden beneath the icy facade. With resolve firming his steps, Elijah ventured towards the mystery. The path was more formidable than he had anticipated, a stark contrast to the tranquil beauty that surrounded him. The deceptive calm of the mountain masked the arduous journey ahead. His preparation, or lack thereof, soon came to light as he realized the oversight of not bringing sustenance or water. This miscalculation, coupled with the dwindling life of his drone's battery, weighed heavily on his spirit. The silence that followed the drone's crash was a harrowing reminder of his solitude. The sound echoed, a testament to the vastness surrounding him and the precarious situation he found himself in. Yet the sight of the drone, ensnared between rocks yet unscathed, sparked a surge of relief and renewed purpose. The treacherous descent to retrieve it was fraught with danger, each step a dance with fate. But the drone was more than just a piece of technology to Elijah. It was a conduit to the mystery that had captivated his soul. In that moment, teetering on the edge of discovery and peril, Elijah's resolve crystallized. The daunting cliffs and the whisper of risk couldn't deter his spirit. With careful movements, he reclaimed the drone, a symbol of his unwavering determination. This act was not just a retrieval, but a reaffirmation of his quest for the unknown, a testament to the adventurer's heart that beat within him, driving him ever forward into the arms of the undiscovered. With his drone clutched like a lifeline, Elijah turned his gaze back to the enigma that had initially drawn him into the heart of the Appalachian wilderness. The landscape before him, scattered with peculiar shapes, seemed to whisper secrets of a hidden world. As he approached, the air thickened with the tension of discovery. These objects, veiled under tarps and nestled in the snow, held an intentionality that suggested they were not meant for prying eyes. The thrill of uncovering nature's mysteries shifted, morphing into a wave of apprehension. These were not mere curiosities left by chance. They were deliberately obscured, each one a silent guardian of a secret desperately kept. The sudden growl of engines shattered the hushed reverence of the scene, slicing through the quiet with the sharpness of reality intruding upon a dream. Elijah's heart seized, adrenaline flooding his system as he sought refuge among the rocks and snow. Peering out from his makeshift concealment, he watched as two figures emerged, their movements deliberate, their purpose clear. The manner in which they had navigated the terrain, their hands deftly moving over the concealed objects, spoke of a familiarity that chilled Elijah to the bone. He had, by sheer chance or fate's cruel humor, wandered into the midst of a dark tableau far beyond the innocent intentions of his journey. As the strangers departed, leaving behind the silence they had so abruptly interrupted, Elijah wrestled with a tumult of thoughts and emotions. The serenity of the mountain, once his solace, now felt imbued with a sinister echo. Yet within him, curiosity burned brighter than fear, compelling him forward. He approached the crates once again, the weight of the unknown pressing down upon him. Pulling back the tarp with hands that trembled not from the cold but from the precipice of revelation he stood upon, Elijah's breath caught. 
There before him were not the weapons or contraband he might have expected, but cages containing frightened, huddled forms. Eyes wide with fear and confusion met his, and in that moment Elijah's adventure transformed. These were not just any animals. They were voices silenced by greed, souls trapped and bartered. The realization struck him with the force of a revelation. What had begun as a quest for beauty and the thrill of discovery had morphed, irrevocably, into a crusade for justice and conservation. Elijah stood, a lone guardian amidst the silence of the mountains, the fate of these creatures unwittingly thrust into his hands. This was no longer a mere journey. It was a calling. In the shadow of the towering Appalachian peaks, Elijah crouched, his breath forming clouds in the cold air as he dialed the authorities with trembling hands. The words tumbled out in a rush, the coordinates of the hidden horror he'd uncovered between the gasps of breath. As the call ended, he sank back against the earth, the silence of the wilderness swallowing the sound of his voice. But this silence was short-lived. The ominous hum of engines tore through the tranquility, a stark reminder of the danger that loomed. Elijah's instincts kicked in, a primal drive to protect the innocent lives at stake. As the traffickers approached, his knowledge of the mountain became his greatest ally. He darted through trees and leaped over rocks, leading his pursuers on a treacherous dance through the wilderness. Each step was a gamble, a delicate balance between leading them away and preserving his own safety. His muscles screamed in protest, his lung burned for air, but the thought of the caged beings depending on him spurred him on. Hope flickered like a distant star as the situation grew dire, but in the moments of greatest need, the sound of salvation echoed through the trees. The authorities, guided by Elijah's urgent call, arrived like knights of the modern age. Their arrival was a turning point, the scales tipping back towards justice. The traffickers, caught in their web of cruelty, were subdued, their plans unraveled by the courage of one man and the swift action of the law. The aftermath was a flurry of activity, a chaotic blend of relief and action as the cages were opened and the animals began their first steps towards freedom. Amidst the turmoil, Elijah stood, a silent sentinel, the weight of his actions settling upon him. This was more than a daring rescue. It was a stand against the darkness that sought to overshadow the natural world. The story of Elijah's bravery spread far and wide, igniting conversations and drawing the gaze of the world to the plight of the endangered. His actions became a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of courage and the impact of standing up for the voiceless. But for Elijah, this was not about accolades or recognition. It was a profound realization of his role in the grand tapestry of life, a calling that reached deep into his soul. As echoes of his adventure faded, Elijah looked to the horizon, the mountains no longer just a backdrop for his explorations, but the starting point of a lifelong commitment. This journey had transformed him, sowing the seed of a resolve that would grow with each passing day. He understood now that every action, no matter how small, has the power to ripple through the world, a force for change in the perpetual fight for justice and preservation. The adventure had ended, but for Elijah, the mission had just begun.